Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth. Thank you so much for stopping by. I've had several requests to do a setup uh, slash flip of this traveler's notebook that I'm currently using. So that's what we'll be doing today. I'm using the Traveler's Factory Station, the Tokyo Station uh, TN in brown with this really cool Traveler's Factory Tokyo Station um, doodad, whatever that's called. So if you take a look at my channel, the I the, this insert or this Traveler's Notebook TN is set up essentially the same way I set it up for the One Book July last year, which means I've got three inserts in here. Okay, there's a file folder in the front uh, on the one on the front string that I'm piggybacking that has got you know stuff that I keep that I'm going to tip in or use at some point. The first insert is the Bujo insert. This is one of those DIY ones, and it turns out that since I started um, doing more of my to-dos on Todoist, this has become less and less an in, something of an insert that I use. So, you know, I, I was using it for several months. I think I started, this particular one starts in June of last year, right? June of 2019. So I used it, you know, pretty much through, I believe it's March of this year, 2020, but I just found that it was almost redundant in some ways. I was doing a lot of the, capturing a lot of the information in here, either in Todoist or in my morning pages, so there was just no need for this. So at this point, this is not an insert that I'm using. I do have, you know, some the notes that I keep if I just happen to be looking for a piece of scratch paper. So that insert, I believe, is eventually just going to go away. I'm not sure that I need that Bujo insert in my TN anymore. The middle insert is the Weeks, the Traveler's Factory Weeks. It's the same um, format that I've been using, that I used last year as well. I just have not decorated the cover. This particular insert is for the first half of the year, so it runs January through June. And... I'll just do a quick flip of this so far. I track, just like I did last year, I track the miles that I walk in a day. And I have not gone through and done a, a bunch of decorations or completing this yet. This is just kind of a work in progress. But just as I've discussed before, I use this insert to kind of not note down something about each day, as well as on the right-hand side, I keep track of things I read, listen to, watch, you know, so you can see that I've been, it, the, the decorations are pretty minimal. It's really about these two pieces of information. It's, you know, a quick summary of something I want to note about the day, as well as things that I've watched, listened to, read, that's been going on on the right-hand side, okay? So I stopped tipping in pictures right about here. So this is kind of February, right around the time that the coronavirus, uh, COVID-19 started becoming more of a known issue. And I just haven't bothered printing the photos. Now I have them ready to print. I just haven't gotten around to it. But once that happens, I will get them printed. I'll tip them in and I'll do a flip of this insert. So you can just see that basically what I do every day is just keep track of the notes. You can always go back and add decorations and pictures later. That's the pencil board, and here's where we are. It's Friday the 15th of May, okay? So that's this insert in the center. On the, so this is the one that's on the actual string that comes with the TN. The other two inserts are piggybacked behind it. And if that doesn't make sense, please take a look online and just look at it, um, how, uh, how one uses a TN. And on the back, I have this insert, which is the same insert that I've had since middle of last year, since July of last year. And this is another DIY notes insert. So what I do with this one is I keep track of things that I want to take note of. So when I'm happen when I ha if I happen to be watching a video, I just take a little note. So for example, watching a TED talk, just here are some notes about that. So these will eventually probably get transferred if I decide that it's something I want to keep track of into either my commonplace notebook or somewhere else. But in the meantime, this is just an easy way for me. I don't pay attention to the handwriting. I'm just quickly scribbling down something I want to remember. And that's that insert. So this is the current 
setup that I've been using. It's like I said, it's the same setup I've been using since July of last year. It works really well. It's easy to use and you know, it's simple. It's functional. It captures and records what I needed to capture and record. So that's what I have for you today. If you are using a traveler's notebook system and or if you decided to change your system since we are in this quarantine period, please leave a link down below so I can go take a look at what you're using. If you have any questions and comments, let me know. You know the drill. Subscribe and like if you if you would like. And I will see you next week. Take care. Bye.